It is uh, winter here right now. Still, it is July, and uh, I got some things I got to get get in a row before uh, springtime comes. But let me show you what I'm doing. Um, this hydrant right here. I'm going to hook up these uh, pipes to. Uh, right now, I have drip irrigation coming out of it, and. I, what I really need to do is be able to have a spigot halfway and three quarters away because I lose the pressure on the drip irrigation between here and there. And uh, I like the drip irrigation, but I need to put it around each tree. And um, what happens is, is the tree at the bar, far end down there doesn't end up having any water. So I end up having an issue with... Uh, water in the trees so the the ones right in here they'll get water i just planted these ones so they don't really fall in that category yet but these ones here you can see that the drip irrigation comes into it yeah they get nice and watered and they are all good but the other ones are drying up at the far end all of this pasture needs to be plowed under and on the other side of the cabana as well uh, and i got to put that dirt in those ditches around the around my pylons but let me show you what I'm going to have done this weekend. This gate here is on these wheels. Uh, this gate was built by Travis, our friend from the U.S. who moved here. You'll meet Travis in some other videos. But he taught my son Thomas how to weld when they were building it. I really like it. It turned out beautiful. The wheels in it were my idea. I wanted those in there. And, and the, the sunburst in the middle was there too. Um, so anyways, but it's, it's really cumbersome to move. So what I'll do is I'll put wheels underneath the bar there, like, a, like it'll roll on those wheels instead of the right and left of it. It'll be right in the center. And then this whole length here is going to, including across the driveway, all the way across over here, is going to have a concrete beam put in the ground. And that concrete beam is going to be... Uh, an angled iron uh, cap to it and uh, those wheels will use that as a groove to roll on but even so it it really needs to be easy so that it's just finger open and finger close I'll put some rollers on the on the post here too I'll put another post out there and then uh, uh, we'll make a, a latch here a locking mechanism so I can put a padlock on it um, why do I want a gate? Well, people drive by and they sell things. When they're selling things, they just drive in your driveway and they want to make themselves kind of at home. And it's a little disconcerting uh, because you don't know they're always here to sell things because they don't have a big sign on the side of their truck saying we're selling things. It's just, you know, people coming with stuff that they want to sell. Sometimes it's salmon. Sometimes it's vegetables, potatoes. So to alleviate that problem, and, and Lori really doesn't like it at all. So what we planned on doing was putting the, the gate up, which is pretty common here. You don't have to lock it shut, you just have to roll it shut. So uh, it's not, it's kind of a security thing as much as it is a privacy thing, but it's, it's uh, something we've always wanted to do, our little gate. You hear that? You hear that wind blowing in the camera, the microphone. That is south that way, which is Antarctica. And that 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 wind smells like penguin breath. I mean, it's just fresh as you can imagine. It's it's like iceberg fresh. It's like like fresher than any water you could imagine in the United States because there's nobody nobody down that way. Well, relative to the rest of the world, there's not. Um, there's always some project needs to be done on the farm to do improvements. And I found out that through trial and error, error is that the real thing is, is don't take on a big project that uh, expect to get it done right away, first of all. And second of all, who cares if you don't get it done right away? You do. Ask the guy to come do it. I'm hiring him to do it. and He can't get here to Monday. and. Uh, I told him come on, but I may have it done by then. I don't know. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we'll see. You see that, that wind just blowing here right in my face right now. It's really cold. 
here's what it looks like. I was actually walking away from the job for the day because I'm just tired. And uh, Tom has helped with this a lot. He digged half the ditch, dug half the ditch, and I dug the other half. We aren't done, uh, but parked the car on the other side of the ditch so we can get out if there's an emergency. And then I have to dig here, uh, right in here, so I can put the conduit in. And that conduit's going to come all the way to the end. And the, and the water line, too. I'm going to put a water line. So there'll be a spigot here. We'll go all the way through under another spigot over there somewhere. I don't know. Somewhere safe. So I can water all the plants here and trees safely. And I'm probably going to put... I don't know, coach lights on top of the light pole, on top of the poles, and uh, maybe even put uh, a spotlight up here in the tree, uh, LED light that, that activates for motion detection, so that when you're coming in late at night in the rain, you can open the gate with the light on. That would be really nice. So, so end of a long day. Working all day, digging ditches is fun. Uh, it's actually quite comfortable here working outside sweating like this still sweating so uh, Anyways, I'll give you updates tomorrow and day after tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tomorrow So I might not do anything. I might just stay inside and stay warm But uh, I think the steel's coming tomorrow and all my cement and all that stuff's coming tomorrow. So well today is Thursday This is my second day on our gate project and uh, bright and frosty this morning Oh, it's about 9.30 right now, maybe a little later. I get up late, because I can. Plus, my back was killing me. Ah, I'm not used to digging like this anymore. All right, so Thomas and I worked all day yesterday. We cleaned up our ditch. We've got our uh, uh, rebar pillar that goes in here. They call it pilar, acá here in Chile, a pilar, and that's that's a rectangular pilar. It's over there, and uh, that goes in here, and that's 12 inches by six is the the place it goes. We got our water line in, which Lori needs to show show the water line here, Lori. I'm showing the pilar. <laughs> okay. I took all the water right now. I did. We got our water and our electric down here in the, in the hole, and uh, what we have left to do is set two fence posts at the end, one here and that one there, and we got to connect our water up. What I decided to do is, since I'm going to put a spigot at this end, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and connect that up and make sure it's working and everything. We'll use that to uh, use get water to mix our cement. So here we go. I'll give you updates. Thank you. Well, okay. this is the end of my gate building experience. Uh, I, the, you saw the beginning of this video and this is the end. Uh, this is over about three, four weeks it took us to do this project once we got going on it. The last you saw, I was pouring concrete with Thomas, I think, um, and Travis. So we got all the concrete done, and then, um, of course, the gate was already welded up. So then it was a matter of after we got the gate well out here uh, to get it, uh, sand it down, buff down, get the rust off of it, and paint it off, paint it up. Uh, we had to weld in, put in some posts in the concrete here and there, uh, a stopper on the end, and some keepers here to hold the gate upright. The gate rolls on two brass um, wheels with bearings in it. And, uh, finger roll, which is nice, uh, and it, it has a little slot that it goes into down here. Okay, actually, I'm not done welding that yet, but um, basically you'll be able to put a lock right here. Uh, there'll be a, a, a pad, a hasp here and a hasp here for a lock and just put it through it, which Thomas has in his hands over there. Uh, up here on the top, well, I'm not done with this. i got to make some money. And then I will be putting coach lights on the top, on this side and that side. And I'll be doing a motion detecting light up in this tree so that uh, it'll be, all these will be LEDs. 
and I, I really contemplated um, putting a solar panel out here and uh, a little inverter on it or maybe even DC motor and you know I go down that trail and all that's there and I got 10,000 watts there so I just ran the wire. I haven't buried the wire. Actually, the wire is laying on the field. But if you, if Lori will come over here and show you, I, I, you'll see where I, I did install conduit that goes underneath the driveway. It's actually in the center of the concrete with the steel, the steel reinforcement that I put in there. And I also put a water line with a garden hose tap and an irrigation tap on both sides of the gate because we really want to flower up our our farm a little bit and uh, keep our water uh, trees, apple trees watered and happy. So, but anyways, this is a completed project almost. Uh, there's no completed projects on a farm. I want to tell you about something that is uh, really a, was a smart buy that I bought. I always got people ask me, what do you buy? What do you bring with you? And there's a lot of things I shouldn't have brought that I did. And there's a lot of things I didn't bring that I should have. Uh, but one of these things which was good brains was to buy a welder. Okay, it's 220, and 220 is the power here, so it'll run on it. The other thing is to have a good generator on a on a um, on a little homestead like we have, because I can roll out the generator on this trailer, or I can even pull on some wheels, come out to the fence here, and I don't have to have a a plug in to run my generator and my grinder and I can do everything I need to do. Um, so they do have nice welders here. They're not computerized welders. Uh, you could probably find them, but you're going to pay. This is a computerized Tweco, which was bought out by a company called Thermal Arc. Or they, they merged, I'm not sure which, but I, I like it. It does MIG, TIG, and stick, and um, uh, I like it pretty good. It does what I need to do. Uh, I really am an idiot when it comes to welding. I don't know what I'm doing. I've had a few lessons uh, from some friends that weld it and just said keep welding you'll get better, which I have. Um, my welds still look like a whale blew his nose on the joint, but it's mine and ain't going nowhere. Okay, if you guys can do better, you get your butts down here and come help me. But if you can't, don't, don't open your mouth <laughs> too much. So anyway, so what we have left is the coach lights up there, which... Um, I gotta weld these plates on and uh, drill a hole through for the coach lights. I am quite reluctant to do that until I have the coach lights in my hand because I really dislike stringing wire through metal pipes and things like that. But um, uh, eventually we'll get that and we'll put a sign over here on our little farm. So, anyways, it's nice to do these projects and, it, and it's been uh, on and off sunshine today, mostly overcast right now, but. Uh, as the weather gets better, we're outside more. Well, we are coming to spring in Chile. And this morning I had seven texts from seven different people all interested in about Chile and what's going on here and how to go on here and, and whatnot. So I was, I was as busy as a cat in a rocking chair room so this morning, which was fine, and I enjoy talking to these people, and uh, I, I recently did the interview with Caleb that some of you saw. You'll be seeing another interview came, coming up soon with uh, Nathan, who's here right now. He's actually in Port Octai and enjoying the fair. You got him mixed up. Yeah. Oh, I did. Okay. Uh, I, you I, did the interview with Nathan. Yeah, that's right, but they look so much alike. I did the interview with Nathan, and uh, you're going to see one from Caleb, yeah. And they know I mix them up, so eh, did you guys, but anyhow, hey, I don't even remember my own kids' names. So anyhow, um, little, little old people joke there. But anyhow, so you're going to be seeing those videos, and I'm also going to be showing you videos, uh, and they'll be shorts, they'll be pretty shorts, of just properties that, that these gentlemen and I have looked at. Uh, I do have a gentleman that moved here from um, Key West, Travis. You've actually seen him in one of our videos already, Welding with Thomas, our intro video. And Travis purchased a lot from me at the end of the road, and uh, he's just been real busy. So he wants to do a, um, he's a little timid, but he wants to do a video with me too. 
and once we get that done I'll put that up as well and you can you can see why other people are interested in moving here so anyhow uh, I thank you for coming by I thank the people that donate to my channel and members of my PayPal club everybody we've had here in the past month has been a PayPal club member and they got discounts on our cabin rental they got help with me uh, taking them around they they really got uh, I think they're satisfied if, the, if they weren't hey speak up in the comments so let me know so God bless you and, and Chow from Chili Expat family get your kids out working Teach them how to be useful other than just reading and writing and riff my tip. And how to weld. Riff my tip. And playing games. Playing video games. Oh, I bet there's a video game for welding. Heck no, we got a welder. He actually welds. So, anyways, God bless you. Ciao from Chile.